Right now, we're giving flowers to one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Just, just based on the design, man. My boy don't even need a Mega or just a, even a third stage evolution. But I'm a Pokemon fan, so I would love to see a Mega or a third stage evolution. As basic as it sounds, I would love to see him get a Dragon type third stage evolution maybe drop the water because the ground is a part of his whole lore he uses earthquakes to defend himself but even if it never receives any love i think wish cash is kind of perfect how it is love the pokemon if pokemon was real and i had to choose a starter bell sprout definitely would be the pick this is like my all-time favorite pokemon as a gen oneer. i just think it'll be a good companion and you can keep it in a little pot or whatever <laughs> I would love to see Bellsprout get a different, you know, regional form or convergent form. I couldn't really think of anything sound, so I went to Google and I found this Reddit post from Waco, Manhattan. Basically, instead of like, you know, a bell insect trap, it'll be an actual pepper with grass fire instead of grass poison. And I think that is fitting because it has bell in the name. And I would love to have that victory bell grass fire. Come on now. I don't know if Kamala slept on, but I'm just going to go out and say Kamala slept on. I mean, don't let the cuteness fool you. This thing is an absolute tank. I can't tell you on how many battles it's done came in. Clutch done tanked the head. I didn't think it was going to tank, and yeah, it all worked out. Its ability, Comatose, just makes it all the more, you know, competitively better, you know, with the status immunity. So you can just throw this thing out to any type of prankster or, you know, salazzle, anything like that. I honestly want to say that this thing is kind of perfect the way it is. It's a good one stage, you know, Pokemon, if you will. If it got an evolution to boost its speed or defenses, I think this thing would definitely be Ubers. And I really don't think it needs one, but it'd be pretty cool to see a badass last stage to this. Man, Apom is one of my all-time favorites. Gotta be top five. I think my boy need a new move or a new form to, uh, to be competitively good. Or maybe a new evolution, because I'm not a big fan of Ambipom. I think they kind of dropped the ball. I like Ambipom though, but it's just it's just not giving. You know what I'm saying? Like it takes away from I don't know. Apom just looks like he's like a main character to his own series. You know what I'm saying? I think it'd be cool if he got a third evolution and they made him like a psychic and gave him an Alakazam pose. That's just my opinion though. All right, y'all. Today we showing Glammy y'all some love because I love Glammy y'all. Man, this is a peak Gen Four Pokemon. I don't, I don't care what nobody say. Glammy y'all look like it's ready to handle business at any, any given moment, no matter what it's up against. I think they dropped the ball with Purgly, though. But I think they got a chance to redeem themselves. So Purgly is the cat tiger Pokemon. So we need a third stage that look like a straight up tiger. Like a tiger with Purgly's face. That should be cold. All right, man, we showing Polly World some love because this is just the boy right here. I mean, my boy looked like he ready to roll out an intro and be the main character of a show. In fact, I know Clefairy was the main backup mascot for Pokemon, but Poliwhirl was in that talk too because he had a lot of merch at the time when they were making that decision. Don't get me wrong, I like Poliwrath too, man. That boy, that boy a real hitter, but I don't know. It's just something about Poliwhirl that, I don't know. He just a homie. I'm dapping homie up, man. Real talk.